All right, so part two and the number of days and Friday the 13th and this weekend lining up for the Polaris Dawn to come down and on 9-23 launch date attaches us to the 9-23 day of September coming up and the Dawn on 9-10 for that debate started going behind the moon and losing his light to Kamala and then that Polaris Dawn is coming on that space walk and that walk for the wall Z and the K for the 11 and the, the, the Tim has that um, the uh, the sleeper and then the Elon has the 11 to take us into that 12 the 48 because he's the cool of the night okay um, so that's where you're gonna have the moon out. You have the cool of the night, or or um, you're going to think it's daytime, but it's gotten real dark. That's the eclipse. Dawn's born under. Okay, and this is where you can go away from however long to go to the prison and give himself that par dawn. But as all these things are interwining, the world stage saying, "Well, my election's being taken away," and blah blah blah. So. This is where we can see the dawn. They can see this in a couple different ways, but as the dawn can win, then it can be taken from him and put in prison. And this is where Biden comes in and plays climate czar, the climate mate for that bridegroom and uh, the second coming and all those things. And the, that would lead to succeeding and the succession and those other types of things. But um, this is where you can see Biden coming in and playing climate czar and then him just being taken out or whatever and this is where you see Kamala can come in and ride the beast and they can come in with um, uh, a war uh, or a pandemic or whatever to keep the transfer of power going or whatever okay or you can do these before the election or also we see with the election um, the early ballots, some of them have Kennedy on them or whatever. This is where um, uh, things can come in and the election and the rain has stopped. And this is where the two witnesses are giving birth in the mind at the same time where you're like, well, let's stop the election. We should. We don't even need to have this election this year. We need to just blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's part of the birth of the two witnesses coming in with the people. And this is where... Um, the birth of the nations is going to be gathered and such where she's been given this light to reflect the light. Okay? Woe to the lawyers and such. And those lawyers, those law ears and such are going to be enticed. The bell worship are going to be enticed by this Lady Liberty woman. And there's going to be another one that X-Files and this dark light and such that's behind the moon in one way. Okay? But it's also another sun setting up for what's coming and this thing about two suns three suns or whatever these are all a test of men to take them down into the idiot trail but it's also dark speak to tell us about what's coming on this world stage because just like the solar system the world revolves around the sun no, the sun revolves around the world, but the world revolves around the so-called begotten sun that's put on this candlestick called your church, your government, your school, your hospital, whatever you want to call it, your personal trainer, whoever's telling you, okay? So, um, you don't need anybody to tell you. You just need to look around. And you can look around by as easy as going to Walmart say well that person looks like that I'm not gonna eat that you go to a restaurant you see skinny people sitting down and eating ask them what they're ordering or whatever you know they're not telling you you're going to get the information you want and a lot of the information is there for it's right there in front of you you go to Walmart you see these Walmartians and then you're like, well, let's look in their cart. And there's nothing recognizable as far as food is concerned. But they're calling it food. They're being preloaded for a time-released event. 
and they're part of these extras and they have this can data those evil deeds those can deeds coming they're going to be giving birth to them in a matter of speaking and it's part of another man child birth when all shit hits the fan and it's you're going to get literal shit okay and it's cracking open out of the cracks these people in front of you that you're showing okay So, as these things are lining up, all right, um, <clears throat> I don't care if it's this Polaris Dawn landing crash or whatever, ISS crashing, dragon crashing here, there, or whatever. The next space event that blows up or whatever is basically a repeat of that Challenger event. And since the Challenger blew up, going up, and whatever we could see this one coming down and whatever but this one blew up in the air this one would hit the ground and we see elon with the stupid thrusters or whatever showing that he's landing it upside down all this fake shit or whatever i've been to space second space space x and boca chica if you saw these rockets okay first off they're not standing however hot of temperatures they tell us second off they're all, it looks like a full-blown Hollywood set down there. And these rockets are made to go down. They're not made to stay up or whatever. They're like cheap-ass dented metal riveted together. It's like, how's, what rivet stays together that, that well? And it's like stupid... Oh man, it's just mind, it's really mind boggling. In case of this space event, instead of hitting the, the sky, it hits the ground and where it's set up with the ground with the fracking and the sandy loam and all these things, this is where we can get a ripple effect and it affects that so-called 500 mile, 1000 mile around it. And um, this is where P it, can be an attack on America, but we're calling it an, an accident or whatever to where we see three months later or three weeks later or whatever, um, the, the China bangs. Okay, we see the curtain bangs being set for the two sides. That'd be where America is split down the middle like a physical one, the 46th state, Oklahoma, those things are where you hit um, this bomb or this thing comes down, it fractures this, this, and whatever. There's like a preset thing. And then that's where you get the tar pits recreated and all those other things. And the so-called Arbuckle Mountains, the oldest mountains that would be like set between America and the new heaven and earth, the new America landscape or whatever. And that fracking, the setting of the water and all those things would help um, create what we see the mountains today. Okay, because we, when you have been around or whatever, you know these mountains are created by bombs and the craters and all these things we're shown as so-called meteors or whatever. This is all old, old bombs of the same stuff. Okay, more than the Mississippi could have been um, where that first clan lived underground, and as you live underground, you might just like live under one thing. And then eventually it came to be where they were going to, they got to whatever underground to where they, the leaders or whatever came out above the ground and they collapsed the system. There's probably be like chicken little, the sky's going to fall back then. That's where it came from kind of thing. Or like, uh, either way, folks, these are just some brainstorm ideas, but, um, it's just an example of an area and then they fill it in with water to where we don't even know. Okay, um, and then this Grand Canyon, those types of things. This could be from like an old blast back then. And either way, they go around resetting Earth ever so often. And then um, if there's motherships or whatever um, un under the ground or under the ocean, these rise up and these change the projection in times and whatever else. Um, Either way, folks, 
the um, stage is set for the spies. And this is part of the free versus bond. And those bond, the spies, um, um, are all going to come and they're going to help bring down nations, help divide nations, help gather nations, all those things. Um, so this would be like where the lady has two wings of the dragon set to where um, if it's divided, all the food and stuff is grown on one side and everybody lives on the other side. This is where this side is doing okay. And this side is not, this side is KO'd. It's KO'd from the okay, the, the KO, the 46 state. The constitution that Kevin stit, that prostitution. Um, so, uh, to tie in some of the dates for this weekend, uh, the primarily, or I'm sorry, the damages so far, primarily from the barrel and Debbie. All right, that's the foot of the bear. Um, and then that Louisiana is that sock, uh, that's been burned and such over the mantle for that Christmas fire. Um, but this is 8.915 billion. So that 915 connects us to this weekend. And if you take that five and flip it to the front, that gets you to your 58 for 916 for a uh, Kamal account. And then that's 15.85% uh, of 2024 from 721 when she announced her run to 916 the Monday. And that's another flip on that 58 for the uh, going to the 58 and 914, 15, I said is in leap year or regular 258 days of the year. Um, and then this 89 connects us to uh, the 89 on the King Spirit this year. And we're opening up doors on the 89 uh, to take us into that film edit release of that part two of 89. And the part two connects us to um, the election 2024, which ends on 11 5. And then that 5 and the 11, the 11 makes the two, the two ones, and that five makes the, um, those together make the two and the three with that subtract, the subtract for the submarine, for the hunt for the red October, for that Jonah and the whale's belly and all those other things where he might just, they'll give people, they might give people, hey, you got this long to get out um, and we're going to be bombing the Gulf of Mexico. Something like that. And that critical race starts. Okay. We'll see how they w weave these things in. But we're coming up on those times where that vision that um, I warned you about is going to break open. And uh, it's been quite the time since the trumpets have sounded and we're taken up into that high place and shown. But since then... I've learned to um, number the days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. And that is the return, O Lord, how long, and let it repent concerning thy served ants. And the ants are going to get served. And the repent is that grieve that there's going to have to do. And that's in verse Psalms 90, 12, and 13. And that connects us to the 9, 12, and 13. And that Friday the 13th for today. And that 12 and 13 connects us to the 22 and the 23 for that 22 and 23 on 9, 11. Um, so we are close, folks. Um, and in 9, 14. It says, oh, sat is fi, us, early. And tomorrow, the 14th, just happens to be Saturday, day after 9.13. Okay, so maybe these things will align for uh, this opening for the tribulation to end for that 9.23 and the transfer of the dawn's lights.